Big picture, and let's start with you, Cassie. Big picture, if we're going to remember anything about this whole trade deadline, not just today, but in the last 48 hours pre preceding it, it's probably going to be the Taylor Hall move from Buffalo to Boston. Overall, is that the big move? And if so, who do you see as the winner there? Well, I think Taylor Hall is. I mean, this is where he wanted to go. There was a potential deal in the offseason for him to go to Boston, and that fell through. He ends up signing a one-year deal with the Buffalo Sabres. And listen, whether it's right to be out there or not, I think there's a consensus that Taylor Hall really needs to prove himself. Is he a team player? Is he a team guy? I think we've seen him. He's had 93 points that one year with New Jersey, and then things have kind of fallen off. So this is a big opportunity. He got to go to the place where he wants to go, and now I think it's on his shoulders to prove that he, he can be a part of a winning team. And Bruce, uh, how do you make sure you're getting Taylor Hall, the MVP from a couple of years ago, and not the guy who struggled in you know three, four teams now in the last couple of years? Well, again, to me, it's all about Taylor Hall. I mean, mm. let's face it, he's got an 18-game win, if, if that was the case, uh, from rumors that you've heard about him or not. But uh, I think it could be a big win for Boston. And for me, Taylor Hall's season starts now. I mean, he could wipe out everything that happened in Buffalo by having a good last 18 games in a playoff run. Colby, what are your expectations of Taylor Hall? Well, for me, Taylor Hall is a guy that... I think everyone expects to be this star goal scorer, and I think it's a perfect position. When I think of Taylor Hall going to Boston, I think of, um, you know, possibly what Phil Kessel was going to Pittsburgh. Um, you know, Phil Kessel's career as a star in Toronto, I played with him there. Uh, a guy that went to Pittsburgh and got the job done, but the key to that was is that they already had a significant core, which the Bruins already do as well. They have star players there. They have their big three on that perfection line. Um, and, and look, they just need a guy to sit in the back seat with Krejci uh, and uh, yell out the window. And that's what these guys are going to do. And I think that puts Taylor Hall in a position with less pressure and a, a, a situation where he's also playing with a guy like Krejci who can distribute the puck to him uh, and, and make plays with him as well. And Smith's no slouch either on the other side. Um, so I think it's a perfect situation when you look at, you know, mindset of a player coming into a group. It hasn't gone that well from the last few years, but he's not the focus of attention.